for decades, reports from all corners of Connecticut, people claiming to see the elusive mountain lion, but never a confirmed sighting. Until now. Turning up first in Greenwich, of all places, the swanky suburb of New York more suited to movers and shakers than reclusive predators. Then making its way to Milford a few days later, where it's killed by a car on the Wilbur Cross Parkway. We put a great, great deal of effort trying to determine where this animal came from. The official word from the agency that tracks wildlife here in Connecticut? A rare case of a cougar that wandered from Wisconsin in search of a mate. That's where his head was. But for the people who swear they've seen one, just more proof mountain lions are among us. Kind of jumped over the top of the guardrail and rolled off. An early morning in late October, East Haddam's animal control officer, Michael Zaki, responds to a complaint about a barking dog. He's buzzing along Route 149. Something walks out in front of me, and I start at the head, and all of a sudden I focus on the tail. And in between there, I saw a large brown body, a sway back, the shoulder blades, the big paws. There's no mistaking a mountain lion, none. Essentially, the exact same story told by this Greenwich Emergency Medical Team at the beginning of their evening shift in early June. We're driving down King Street on the way to uh, Greenwich Hospital to get supplies. The mountain lion jumped out into our lane, stopped, and then jetted right back into the residential area. It was large, long tail. It was freaking big. People in the houses had come out, and they were all out there with their kids, and they told us that it had run up the path towards the Brunswick School. Then he was spotted roaming the woods behind the private boys' school. I spoke with one witness who didn't want to go on camera, but he told me he's an avid hunter and he couldn't believe his eyes. This is the only photo witnesses at the school managed to get. Not great, but much better than Michael Zaki. As far as the DEEP is concerned, he has no proof whatsoever, even though a field officer came out to investigate. Ultimately, he was given the company line. No breeding population is exactly the term I was given. We've spent a lot of time trying to verify reports, and every time we've done that, it's turned out to be another species. Markings are obvious bobcat markings to somebody that's familiar with them. Spots on the insides of the, its legs, it's got the white behind the ears. Paul Rigo basically scoffs at the idea that mountain lions populate Connecticut. We're we looking for footprints, we're looking for scat, something that we can test. Bo Ottman's on a mission out to prove DEEP wrong. He commits 20 or more hours a week, hiking the Farmington Valley, scouring trails. Ever since 2007, we've collected 300 sightings in the Hartford and Litchfield counties alone. According to Bo, these are their tracks, and this is their kill. There could be 50 cougars in this state. You think there are 50 cougars? There could be in the state of Connecticut, absolutely. For animal control officer Michael Zaki, what he saw with his own eyes was confirmation enough. If so many people see it, they must be here. It's not Bigfoot, it's a mountain lion. For Treading Lightly, I'm Christina DeFranco.